as are you. Do you so do you want to do the intro? No, I don't. Okay. Not doing the intro. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What's up, guys? I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style. We have a very special guest today. This is my wife, Robin. Hi. And uh, a few weeks ago, well, a while ago, we put out a call for you guys to ask us uh, questions that you had. And today we are here to answer them. Did you know that... <laughs> One of the most searched terms, like if you search for He Spoke Style or, mm -hmm. or my name on, on YouTube, yeah. like is Brian Sakawa wife. <laughs> so here it is, here Brian Sakawa's wife, <laughs> and we're going to get going with some, some questions. Rob's going to read them off camera. All righty. <laughs> What's the one thing you would add to Brian's wardrobe, regardless of whether he likes it? And what one thing would you remove immediately? Can I start with the remove? Sure. <laughs> um, I don't know what you call them. They're the you have these loafer slip-on shoes that look like um, a rug. <laughs> it's like red and everything. It's like a slip-on thing. Oh no, they're like the those needlepoint ones. Yeah. I don't really wear those that much though. Yeah, what you used to a lot. <laughs> and I didn't like them. What would I put in your wardrobe if I could put anything? I don't know. I think the last thing that we talked about you adding in was more like casual Brian stuff, and you've been doing that. So I feel like no ads. Okay. You like the sweatpants? Mm hmm I like the sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one style trait or tip that you learned from each other? You want to start? No. You go first. Um, so Robin has this like great ability to combine different things from a lot of different, you know, whether it's like really luxury to, you know, something, you know, you found a vintage store and you have like this ability to pull things together that, that I really admire. Uh, and I, I feel like I learn a lot from the way you do that. Menswear, this is yours. Yeah. Mine. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think more tailoring. Women don't normally tailor their clothing. Women try and force fit themselves into a smaller size or something's too big and you just kind of like work with it. Um, so I think just seeing you and seeing how well everything fits on you, it reminds me that I should, if I'm investing in nice pieces, that I should be tailoring them to fit me as best as possible. Yeah, that's something like like women generally don't think about getting something tailored. Either mm -hmm. fits or it doesn't, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Next. How do you guys balance budgetary constraints with your larger purchases as a couple? I feel like larger purchases like suits, jewelry, or watches can be tough to buy if married. I don't know that we do do a good job at <laughs> restraining <laughs> our purchases. Right? Yeah. We have some things that are more separate, so I think we pretend like we're doing a good job but we could probably be doing a better job right well well we have like we have like combined money and then we mm -hmm. each have like our own separate money that we have to play with throughout the month yeah so i don't see the hit when he buys a watch <laughs> <laughs> or when i buy my shoes right oh yeah mm -hmm. the shoes yeah what is her favorite piece of clothing that you wear I don't know. What is it? I like some of your chinos. There's one pair that's a little tighter on your butt that I like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> not what I was not what I was expecting. <laughs> what were you expecting? I don't know. I thought you would say like this suit or something like that. We have a lot of suits, so that's like. I don't always see your body because when you're wearing your suit, so <laughs> I'm able to. My what? <laughs> your body. <laughs> it's the way John Mayer says it. <laughs> How did you meet each other? We worked together. Was it like six or seven years ago? Seven years ago. Um, I was working. Well, my client was working on a holiday campaign and they had their holiday theme was that they'd have like seven different shops in the store and themes. 
One was like the candy shop. One was the black and white shop. <laughs> candy shop. <laughs> it was called the candy shop. Is that 50 cent the colors. song? Yes. <laughs> um, and so there were seven different shops and we proposed doing seven different influencers to find those shops. And I knew the women's influencers. I like knew that um, realm very well. Menswear, I didn't know as much. And I found Brian, thought he was cute. I had good style and put you in my deck and pitched it. And <laughs> I was actually the second are. choice. You were not the second choice. Ah, okay. You were in the first version of the deck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is her favorite watch of yours? Say that again. I picked something on my lip. What is her favorite watch of yours? Are we supposed to is this her? my should I yeah. what's your well what's your favorite watch that I have I feel like that's easy yeah when I got you for your wedding right right the our Car- wedding Cartier your Car- 40th birthday wedding slash present. wedding present mm-hmm. yes it's beautiful it's the Cartier tank American mm-hmm. uh, steel uh, 50 no 100th anniversary version mm-hmm. love that watch and on the back it has our anniversary mm-hmm. date What are your guys' thoughts on streetwear? Are you open to trying it? I'm like 40 years old. <laughs> I'm 41. I'll be 42 soon. So it's, it's just not, you know, I think for me, it just doesn't fit my personal style. I'm not comfortable with it, you know. So, nah, it's not for me. I feel like it depends on what you categorize streetwear as. Like, I feel like if it's more casual, like women's wear, it's more of... Um, like how you style things it's not so much as like the pity peacock though there is some of that in women's wear i feel like street style for me is more of like what i'm wearing now like more casual jeans more relaxed but i'm i think they mean like you know you're walking around soho and you see like these younger folks wearing like more very, urban style yeah yeah sneakers and whatever i don't know i can't do it i feel but, like we do street style when we're walking coco <laughs> That's true. Yeah, the most I'll do is, is sweatpants. Mm-hmm. All important here. What <clears throat> amount of honey do you consume in your household? Yeah. If there's honey in the house, I'll eat it. Well, so I would I would eat for breakfast for a long time. Um, Greek yogurt, granola, and like a banana, and I would put some honey on it. So mm-hmm. yes, I was going through a lot of honey at that time. Mm-hmm. However, I have transitioned to a different breakfast of bagel with peanut butter and banana that does not include honey. So our honey consumption has dropped significantly since then. <laughs> what are Robin's favorite one or two fragrances that you wear? I bet I can guess them, but I'll let you say. You could guess the one. Number one. Uh, Black Afghano by Nasamato. Because it reminds me of Shampala. Aliata, of course. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? I like a lot of the Tom Fords. I don't know that I know the different ones that you wear. Oud Fleur. That's, you got that for me in Paris. Mm, I like that one. Um, yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. Robin, does his interest in clothes drive you crazy? Because that's normally a woman's thing. Actually, no. So before I met Brian, I had probably the same amount of clothing that I have now. Um, Probably more now. But I never, I only wore it out to work because if I was going out to like meet a guy or go on a date, I definitely um, desaturated everything. And I just wear like, you know, you never know how tall a guy is going to be on a date. So you don't wear heels and you, you... I felt like I didn't want to scare someone off with too much print <laughs> and vintage stuff. It was definitely, um, I don't want to say more boring, but definitely not who I typically would be before I met you. So I feel like his love of that and more being more relaxed with that has made me embrace who I am a little bit more. And I'm not afraid. Sometimes I am afraid of wearing something with, with you. but Like, like what? If it's too much print or something or like a weird boxy thing, I'm like, is he going to think I look like I'm wearing a (laughs) paper bag? But You could wear a paper bag and you'd still look beautiful. Mm, Thank you. (laughs) No, but yeah, I I appreciate it. And I feel like it helps um, balance each other out. (laughs) Right, because I'm really boring. (laughs) What are 
of both of your careers? I work in advertising, uh, digital marketing mainly. Uh huh. Okay, and I do this, he spoke style, mm -hmm. and I am also a member of the United States Army Field Band. A lot of you now from YouTube have you know found that I, I play the saxophone and I'm in the army, so that's something that's my that's my day job. He doesn't play it for me though. No, only for the watch guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Robin, was there any time Brian was more dressed up than you? Yes. When? I feel like when we started dating and we were commuting back and forth from New York and I would pack a, as small of a bag as possible and then not thinking we were going anywhere and then you would get ready to go to dinner and I only had like one outfit and you were much more dressed up as me and like that was... <laughs> That was it. I still like that's like still the same. Like we'll go out to eat or whatever and we get dressed independently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we like come together and we have like the same exact thing on. Yeah. But then there's times like I feel like more times than not I you come into your room and you're like, you're so dressed up. <laughs> what? What? Now I have to change. <laughs> it's not that you're dressed up. I think it's because when we go to the restaurant, all guys are going to be wearing like shorts and t-shirts. So for men, you're very dressed oh, up. Oh, that's versus what you mean? Me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll remember that next time. Yeah. <laughs> what do you both normally wear on a date? Depends on where we're going. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a nice restaurant? Is it kind of casual? Um, we sort of dress for the occasion. Robin, what's your favorite outfit of Ryan's? Ever. Ever. I don't know. I don't know. You were looking pretty good in that wedding tuxedo when you were in London. But I didn't have socks on. Oh, my God. Scandalous. <laughs> <laughs> <Heaven's> forbid. <laughs> okay. Because mm -hmm. that, again, it's like very clean cut. And you had like the, it's not even just the outfit. It's like how you style it. You looked very different on our wedding than you did in London because you had like some more scruff and everything. Mm. I liked it. How open is Brian to your style advice, and does it bother you if he doesn't listen? Did you give he's, me advice? He's open to if I feel like when you ask me for advice a lot. Oh no, we're leaning back. No, we don't have to. Uh, when you ask me for advice, sometimes I'll give it to you, but you just do <laughs> what you want anyway. But I would say I might do the same. And thing. you're like, why do you even ask? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what, which tie do you like better? And I say, which one? It's like, oh, well, I really like this one. I'm like, okay, that's Just fine. looking for validation. <laughs> yeah. If it's any consolation, he does the same thing to me. I figured. <laughs> Brian, are you happy with her sense of style? Very much so. Why? That wasn't the question. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool. It's eclectic. Um, it's, it's unique. It's, it's not like your typical, like, basic girl, like, you know. Um, you could do that if you want, but you, like, put your own little twist on it always. And it's always, like, like this. Like, this is a French cuff shirt, and you've got it rolled up. Like, it's just a white shirt and jeans, but that's pretty cool. How is it to live with a man whose wardrobe space is bigger, I suppose, than yours? I don't know that it is bigger. It's not bigger because I have the walk-in <laughs> closet, but she has an entire room. Oh, first world's problems. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I mean, yeah, I think his, yes, I have more space right now. You mm -hmm. have a very nice walk-in closet. Yeah. But I think I have more things than he actually does, though he has more brown shoes than I do. <sighs> yeah, I get it, another pair of shoes. She's like, oh, another pair of brown shoes. They're all different. There's like brogues and derbies mm -hmm. and, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, what style tips do you have for other women? Where to I'll start? Sit, I'll sit this one out. I would say, I think what we were talking about before tailoring, uh, I used to work in retail and even just seeing friends over the years, women will squeeze themselves into an outfit that's too small because they want that size. It's more about the size on the tag than it is how it looks. Um, so I think women just stop looking at the size of the clothing, put it on. If it fits, get it. If it doesn't fit, go a size up. Like you look 
better when your clothes are fitting you. Um, another thing, I don't know if it's, I would say everyone would do this, but my comfort level with clothing that's more fitted is if I'm wearing something tighter or more fitted on the bottom or the top, I make sure that the other piece is a little bit looser. I just feel like I, I don't like to be on display, so I like to have a little bit of a, a balance there. Um, yeah, that's like a, a thing that you do all the time. If there's like a tight top, you have like a very mm -hmm. kind of loose and flowing skirt or, or vice versa. Yeah, unless I'm on a mission, like with this one, I feel like I don't do top to bottom tight. <laughs> a mission? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> What are your favorite movies? <laughs> together? Let's say together. Okay, together. Um, to we... Catch a Thief. Mm -hmm. um, we just watched Rear Window. Rear Window. Which we liked. Yeah. Anything with Grace Kelly. Mm -hmm. Some with Cary Grant. I feel like he has too many to say anything. You haven't seen Grant. North by Northwest. We watched it together. Did we? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Individually, I feel like we like very different movies. Yes. What would you say for me? Oh, um, Michael. Michael. Oh, yeah, Michael Clayton. I that, love that, that movie. movie. Yeah. Or, I'll um, watch that. Or The Godfather. The Godfather, Tinker. Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy. Yeah. I wouldn't put it on the same level. No. But yeah, the no. Michael Clayton one, I've watched it twice with him. And. All, every time you watch it, like the next night, he, he, I think he's kidding, but I don't know if he's kidding. And who will ask me if I want to watch it again? Uh, your favorite movies? Let's be nice. We have an <laughs> audience. Um, I don't know. Um, Troop Beverly Hills. I don't know if that's a favorite movie. I love that movie, but I don't know if it's a favorite. What's you watched favorite? it with me. I, it you was, liked it. It was cute. Yeah, it was good. It was cute. It was cute. <laughs> I don't know. I like more comedies. I feel like at work I'm stressed and there's a lot of work and a lot of pressure. So when I come home, I would rather watch reruns of that 70s show and like Friends and a stupid movie that I've seen 50 times than watch something new and pay attention. Mm. Okay. I don't know if that's a good quality or not. Like... No, it's just like you're... You need to... You're not... It's just like passive, mm -hmm. and, and it makes you feel good. Yeah. If you happened to gift Brian a watch, what would that be? Well, I already did. She did, yeah. yeah. No more, sorry. We, oh. That's it. Please. What would, if you were to <laughs> gift me a watch, what would it be? Well, I know that there is a question coming up that addresses this, but uh, someone, so there's, there's a question, um, should, does she want a matching Nautilus? No. Uh, I know you don't, but you you would you really like the gold royal oak, the Audemars mm -hmm. Piguet gold royal I oak. Do. Yeah, matching gold AP royal oaks. Yeah. <laughs> Most opposite or wild thing you do in regards to how you do in videos. <laughs> Wait, what? What's so so of? like so I think the question is like people see me like a certain way on, oh, on the yeah. video usually. Am I answering this one? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you do it? <laughs> um, well, when the camera's not rolling, you and Rob are, well, I don't know if it's Rob, but you're making like fart jokes <laughs> no. a lot. Or I know what it is. Uh, Brian thinks it's really funny. Wait, when... I don't make fart jokes. I make fart jokes. Uh, Rob makes okay. fart jokes. I'm okay. sorry. Thank you. You don't make fart <laughs> jokes, but you, when you see a dog outside and it's pooping... <laughs> you start cracking up so i started every time i would see a dog pooping i would take a photo and send it to you and now you and your best friend have a poop chain between our dogs pooping <laughs> and send it to it but you're now you're naming it like it's they not have just to have the, names yeah yeah so yeah. give us an example of the the tip of my finger like the dog is in the distance and then like you know how people like hold up the leading tower of pizza <laughs> <laughs> the dog is on the finger you also got me a calendar of pooches. I did. yeah uh yeah poops poop. pooches pooping yeah and every month there's a different photo of a dog pooping and that's i think in the closet down here <laughs> to add a little less you know seriousness in the studio <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just it's so hysterical because like the mm-hmm. the like the what they contort themselves into and then they're like don't look at me and then they say pick it up and then you don't look at me and you take photos of it. <laughs> yeah. okay moving i'd on. also say but this is like he's very serious in work and anything or family guy they like when they make their stupid jokes or it keeps going on and on and on i love the little crinkle uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> How much input do you have into each other's wardrobe decisions? Uh, she doesn't need my input, you know. I used to ask for permission, but now I think I might hide things and just be like, oh, look at this thing that appeared in Oh, you mean like wardrobe. buying things? Or just, yeah, input. Mm-hmm. Yep. I just file that away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you have things that appear sometimes and I just... <laughs> fine next because i know i have things <laughs> hidden in the car <laughs> do you enjoy casual brian or dressed up brian more it depends i feel like if he's being i like both if he's been be, getting dressed up a lot recently i like the juxtaposition of casual brian or if he's been if i've only seen him when we're taking care of the dog now and you're always wearing sweatpants i like it when you start you know, you're wearing a normal outfit. Both. Yeah. <laughs> Where is your last name from? It is Polish. Um, it is missing a Z. S-A-C-Z-A-W-A. And uh, it would have been pronounced, depending on where you were from in Poland, Sachava or Sonsava. What is your favorite gift that the other person got you? Other than the watch, she got me for my birthday once the ST DuPont Line 2 gold lighter that I have. I love that. It, it just, it's like the perfect little thing, you know, and, and yeah, I love it. Is that the one that makes the sound? Yeah, the ping. Yeah. I feel like the obvious one would be the wedding present you gave me. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, it was <clears> a never used i don't know whose closet this came from i think this woman had multiple bags so she just never used this but he when we were looking for his wedding present and we went to pick up the watch to make sure he liked it there was a 1967 Mm -mm. 66 like 65 or 66 um never used uh kelly bag hermes yes black Kelly bag, pristine condition, and I think when he brought it out, I actually growled. I don't know how loudly, but I definitely growled I gave it. I gave it to you when we <laughs> did our first look photos. Yes. Yeah. But that, I mean, I think that's like, but that's a very <clears throat> um, big gift. I personally like the, I've saved every single card, note, paper towel, napkin that you've written on. Um, those are my favorite things because you don't always verbally say things like you're like day in, day out. So like those things are like my most prized possessions, I think, that that you've given me. Is that why I get up uh, in trouble if I don't write a card? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Even when I remind you to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I like those leather shorts that you got me. Yeah. But they don't fit me anymore. Well, but they still fit you. <laughs> <laughs> Not for public. <laughs> was she bribed or blackmailed into marrying you? Well, I don't know why I would need to be. No. Aw, that's nice. Were you bribed or blackmailed into marrying me? I mean, when you had like my arm twisted behind my oh, back, yeah. it's really that really hurts. Mm. No. <laughs> we'll edit that one out. <laughs> <laughs> what are your favorite albums to listen to together? I don't really listen. listen to music. Yeah, he doesn't listen to music. He can sit down here and work, and he wants quiet. Mm-hmm. I like more music. I don't know. I mean, if we've listened to anything together, like maybe jazz. Never like sat down and listened to a whole album of but anything. If we were in the kitchen and listening to music, yeah, it's more of a like jazz playlist. What about I Love My 90s Hip Hop? 
that's the playlist that's always on when we're doing the outfit yeah. videos. I know when you're filming, when I start to hear the, you know, Snoop and Dre. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you know your husband had a YouTube channel called He Spoke Style? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. you're just finding out? It's scandalous. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where bell. is it? Where is it? Down here? Where is subscribe? On the video. Upper uh, left? Upper left. No. That's to, like, look at other videos and things that pop out. Okay. What advice can you give on communication throughout the wedding planning process? Have a wedding planner. Yes. Yeah. We, yeah, best, I, what did I say to you when we got her? Getting a wedding planner will be cheaper than get, having therapy. <laughs> I said if we didn't have a wedding planner, we wouldn't have made it to the wedding. Yeah. We didn't. We made decisions throughout. We got appro We gave our approval, tweaks, edits, um, too much money. We gave input <clears> the whole time. But she really we gave her a mood board, and she was executing it perfectly. And if there were any yeah. other than one bump, if there were any other bumps throughout the process, I had no idea about it. Yeah, we're both like so busy that we wouldn't have been able to have like the wedding we wanted if we didn't have someone right. helping us out with it. Yeah. What is the best trip or travel that you've taken together as a couple? I'm going to say our first trip to Milan. That was cool. Milano. Yeah, I like that one. Or Florence because we got to hang out with Ann and Matt. Mm-hmm. I don't know. All your work trips have been fun that I've been supportive on and tagged <clears> along when you and Rob went. Um, BMW? The BMW Yeah, that was trip. an awesome trip. Switzerland, Zurich, Milan to... Munich. Munich. Mm -hmm. um, Lake Como, even though that was two days. But I feel like our trip, I really liked uh, Tulum. Which Tulum? Which one? The ones where I didn't get sick. The one where I got sick. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I've never gone away to just relax and decompress. And that was really nice to, to explore something that neither of us had been there before. Uh, yeah, you always wanted to like do too much on vacation. Mm -hmm. And I like tried to convince you to not do anything but and lay on the beach. And you did it on the first year. It was like we did half activity, half pool. Mm-hmm. Usually when the music played, there was a CD that would play over and over and over again with terrible American music when it played the, when it started to But that's to how again. we, that's how we learned about Al, Al Stewart, Year of the Cat. Yeah. Great YouTube comments on that yeah, video. Yeah, go check out that video on YouTube and maybe we'll link to it up there. Read the comments. It's worth it. <laughs> anyway, next question. <laughs> Robin, what do you think about men dressing up? I think men don't dress up enough, and uh, one of the uh, my favorite things about watching old movies with like Grace Kelly and um, Cary Grant is that pe everyone was so dressed up, and you go out now, and it's shockingly scary at how people go out in public and to work, and even not like not even dress up. Like people don't even wear jeans anymore. Everyone's wearing leggings and. But talking about thoughts. men here. But men too. Men are. Oh. I feel like men don't get dressed up. Yeah. As often. It just as they takes used like. To. I think it's like a. People like just don't time. put the time into it. Yeah. Money. That's all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would prefer to see more men in suits. Nothing makes a man look more handsome than a very well tailored suit for women. And you do a house tour, and what led you to buy a house? We will do a house tour. Um, We're not done decorating yet. Right. So we'll do a house tour in about 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> like no. a year. Let's do a year. Mm, okay. Within the year. All right. Yeah, yeah. within a year. We can never, it's never going to be like finished and perfect, though. Just more if we don't have any... We haven't painted a few rooms, mm -hmm. and just to put a few more things on the walls. There's a ton of stuff down here, but upstairs there's no mm -hmm. pictures or paintings anywhere. So why do we buy the house, though? We weren't planning to buy a house. No? Mm -hmm. He, when we were wedding planning, he sent me a link randomly for a house, 
and I think I just rolled my eyes and put the phone down. Uh, and then I think that we got new management at the apartment building mm-hmm. that we didn't love. And then he sent <clears> me a link to this house and it was newly renovated. It was perfect. It was exactly how we would have decorated a house. And we, 30 days later, we had a house. Yeah, it was crazy. definitely not planned. Happy with it though. Mm-hmm. How do you guys stay so freaking cute? That's from Gurbani. Oh, Gurbani. It's not easy. It's not. Let me tell you. No. <laughs> a lot of money on skincare. Date nights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you buy your wife like a matching? Oh, sorry. That's fine. You don't have to have it in there. I want it in there. I feel like we weren't very cute in the response. It was cute enough. Look at this. This is cute right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's cute. So cute. Cute. Would you buy your wife a matching Nautilus? No, no. She wouldn't want one. She wants the gold royal oak. I don't even know which one the Nautilus is. This one. Oh, that one. Mm-mm. I don't wear watches. I, I like bigger watches, but I feel like watches, I have a very thin wrist, and I don't like how most watches look on me. Though a big gold one might be nice. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> <laughs> How do you define your style as a couple? Hmm. Classic. Yeah. I I guess I would say it's this the same way that I describe my personal style, which is with is classic with a modern sensibility. I like that. Who made the first move? <laughs> no way! <laughs> you made the move. We won't go into details about <laughs> what the moves were. <laughs> it was the stop short. <laughs> Any Seinfeld fans? Yeah. <laughs> How did you know you were ready to tie the knot? She told me it was time. No. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I... I don't know. I felt like we'd been married before we got married. I felt like we'd right. been married for, not in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, tell me more. No, just, you know, it's like easy and, well, it's not always easy. <laughs> but I don't know. It's just like there's like a, there's like a comfort. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stop laughing. <laughs> There's just like a comfort I have with you that, you know, mm-hmm. I can be myself and. Uh. Yeah, I feel like we, we talked about getting married. Are you going to keep laughing? <laughs> <laughs> we talked about getting married and we were commuting and it was more about us being in the same place versus getting married. Like that was the biggest step, at least for me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like, felt a little bad plucking you out of New York and. I miss it, but... You still get to go up there. (laughs) Who is more stylish? Her. Yeah. Best dress superlative in... High school? 2001, yeah. right. Though the photo and outfit was terrible. We're going to have to find that and put it up so people can see. (laughs) (laughs) Has he spoke style acted as a relationship wedge or a glue between the two of you? Well, we met through it, so I'd say a little bit of glue. Mm -hmm. I'd say in the beginning, it was a bit of a wedge. You were, in general, even not he spoke style. When we first met, you were very serious, and every minute you wanted to work. I think, remember, like, we... I wanted to like sit on a bench with you and you're like, for how long? I'm like five <laughs> minutes. You're like, oh, I could be working. Like it was just, you were so focused on that. So I think it wasn't just that. It was like your work ethic. But mm-hmm. over time, before when you had the studio in the apartment, it felt hard to disconnect, but somehow it's not the same with the studio down here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And I mean, as far as like glue, like we've had a lot of, amazing opportunities mm-hmm. together through He Spoke Style. So. Yeah, I feel like a trip through He Spoke Style for both of us would really 
pulls together again. If someone wants to send us to Europe again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who takes longer in the bathroom? You do. Sometimes, though, getting ready, you take longer. In the bathroom? Not in the bathroom, but getting ready. Depends on if you know what you're wearing or not. No, it depends on... But you can on definitely it. stand in front of the mirror more, putting your tie on and fixing the pocket square and doing everything longer yeah, than... Yeah, well, it takes me longer because I'll get dressed and then I'll come into your room and you say, you're going to wear that? <laughs> No, you're too dressed up, and then I have to go change. So that's why it mm -hmm. takes me longer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Top three marriage tips? Communicate. Mm -hmm. Is there a certain level of communication that you want to put a filter on? No, okay. just good communication. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Mm -hmm. um, make time to do things together. Uh, regardless of whether you um, are super busy mm -hmm. um, or had a crappy day at work or whatever, you know, and have empathy for each other and try and, and communicate. Maybe that's part of communication. In communication, try and take a minute and understand where the other person's coming from, even if you don't totally get it, try to understand. So maybe the third one is just laugh with each other. Right. Laugh. <laughs> we do that a lot. Yeah. How old are you? Him? I'm 41. I'm 36. The way I look. No, not a day over 20. Mm. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Has either of your personal styles been much influenced by each other's? I think the things that I like about your style are a little bit harder for me to um, incorporate into what I would consider to be my personal style. Yeah, I don't want you to take my my don't. dressing tips <laughs> or clothes. Um, but one, I would if I had to say one thing, it would be that uh, you really like gold and brass and, and mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. And mm -hmm. I would say, prior to meeting you, I was more into the like steel white gold you know like turquoise not turquoise no <laughs> but but like i like you've made me really like those warmer kind of tones i think you you getting dressed up i don't feel like i'm going to be overdressed when i get dressed up so i don't worry about being too dressed up like i used to though i can't i don't can't always wear heels because then You'll feel like I'm too tall or I'm taller than you. Tall as you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you match outfits? Not purposely, but I feel like more often than not, we get dressed in separate rooms and then we come together and we're either coordinated or we're kind of wearing the same outfit more than not. Yeah, we, we, we co try to coordinate for whatever event we're going to like a and, wedding or something. yeah or even if it's just going out to eat or something mm -hmm. you know robin what do you find most attractive about a guy who dresses up i think like we answered that question already it, it i don't know i don't know what it is but it's like if a guy goes from casual to dressed up in a nice suit and tailored and you know the hair is nice it's almost like you put a really nice like filter over it he just looks much more put together and presentable and i don't know there, there's just something very handsome about a well-dressed man there's a reason why people still love Cary grant and all those guys it's easy top had it right what is the saying every girl's crazy about a sharp dressed man Though I would say there's nothing more tragic than seeing a well-dressed man in a perfectly tailored suit and then the nails are just like eaten down or not clean. How are my nails? Your nails are good. <laughs> How do you maintain a healthy marriage and relationship while being social media personalities? Well, I'm not a social media person. I don't consider myself a social media personality. 
I don't know. It's like I'm no, I'm not a different person mm -hmm. uh, on camera, or will say things differently than I would as a person just in the world, mm -hmm. or like being with you, mm -hmm. like you know. And YouTube, especially, I feel like I've been able to just do what I do, and it's, it's whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So I don't really see like a distinction between what I'm doing here or, mm -hmm. or social media wise, and then the way Though we people interact. do think you're like a celebrity sometimes, like Matt. Shout out to Matt, that my colleague. <laughs> he saw you in the in Penn Station, and oh, I thought you were. Yeah, that was crazy. That following was crazy. you around, Robin, I think it's your husband. And then he went to say <laughs> hi to you and got nervous. And I'm like, he's just a person. He's fine. <laughs> he's not a celebrity. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> when I went up to him in the train, he was like, he like jumped back. <laughs> Is there one person both of you consider to be a style inspiration? One together? Or you go, who's your style inspiration? I, I don't know. I'm going to say, I'm going to say John Paolo. Mm -hmm. Because he's like, you know, he's. Effortless. I mean, yeah, he's effortless. He's, he's like this genuinely like generous and caring and like beautiful person with a great personality. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah, it's like very tailored, but then he has tattoos and all the like stacked turquoise and everything. It's like a very cool, effortless yeah. thing that if anyone else tried to do it, it would probably look ridiculous on them. For me, uh, I think I don't see her as much now in street style and at fashion shows, but Taylor Tomasi Hill, another redhead. Um, I don't think either of us are natural. She might be. I'm mm. not sure. But her style, it's very, it's all, it's very classic. It's very eclectic. Um, some of the outfits are kind of crazy. And if I tried to do that exact outfit, it would be too much. But for some reason, everything she puts on is just very, very cool. What is love for you? Oh, that's exactly what I thought of. <laughs> that's a don't hurt me. <laughs> that's what it is for him. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's exactly. Oh, for me, love. <laughs> this is a very. This might sound weird, but I knew I loved you when, um, you were in my apartment for a while. And before this, if someone, even a friend, was staying in the apartment. For a few hours, overnight, in the morning, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm still laughing. <laughs> in the morning, I was, I always felt like, when is this person going to get out of my space? I need my space. And then you were in it for a long time, and it didn't bother me. And then when you left, it kind of felt like something was missing, and mm. I didn't like it. Oh. <laughs> so it's not that's not what love is, but that's like comfort. Yeah, I was missing the same of thing. something. Yeah. Yeah, I can just be myself. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Too much so thing. sometimes. Yeah. What is your least favorite thing about each other? Oh, boy. Who wants to go first? <laughs> uh, you go first. Get ready. <laughs> Am I going to cry on, no, on uh, video? No. Sometimes... <laughs> You can be very impatient. Yes. That I know. And see, I... I Italian, like we said at the wedding, Italian Jewish girl from New Jersey. It's there's I'm working on it, but there's some stuff that, you know, Jersey and Italian blood... I considered myself to be a fairly impatient person until I met you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. Come on. Come on. Um... Not always. Oh, wait, I know what it's going to be. Not always empathetic. Yeah. Understanding of um, 
if I feel something or, you know, it's like, well, I, that's not what I meant. It's like, well, that's how I feel. I mean, it's, you know, men and women. It's hard to understand the way that we feel, feel sometimes. Yep. I need to be more empathetic. Mm-hmm. I, I need try. to be more patient. I've been better since you met me. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> this is the last one, isn't it? What is your favorite thing about each other? Oh, thank God. <laughs> that I can... Um, favorite thing about you is that you allow me to be silly and... Um, I prefer You don't... <laughs> you don't judge me for my weird things that I think are funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a lot. I'm trying to... One favorite thing. I don't want to say your work ethic, but there's something about your work ethic of if I tried to do this on my own, I would probably be taking naps all day long and it would be hard to motivate myself. But you have a very like regimented personality that like you want to do something, you get it done. I've been wanting to do something for months and I'm still like like trying to find the reason to start you just like start and you do it and you figure it out there's something very um admirable about that thank you and your i like your face your face is really nice <laughs> and and i think that wraps it up that's all of the time <laughs> questions man how long has that camera been going 51 minutes and 25 seconds wow so for all um, of you that have made it to the end of this video congratulations really appreciate it um, we wanted to get to as many questions as we possibly could. Um, if you want to see more with Mrs. Sakawa, let us know in the comments. I think you did mm. great. I'm never going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like to see herself on camera. No. I think she was great. So uh, anyway, leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Like this video, right? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And until next time, thanks for watching. I said that already. Damn it. Thanks for watching and stay tailored. We should kiss. Oh. Mm. Mm. There we go. <laughs>